so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. I'm at a super center. But look at what it is. It's a delicious apple. I wonder how this apple got here. Every apple at the grocery store came from an apple field. First you gotta pick the perfect fruit. Like this one. This one looks really tasty. And after you pick it, you put it inside the bin with all the other apples. <laughs> Let's try and find an apple together. Hmm. Do you see an apple? Ah, I see one! Yeah, look! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> it all starts by a worker hand-picking every single apple. And then, they dump their sack into the bins. And when the bin gets full, a tractor picks it up and takes it away. Now that the apples are all out of the fields and into the bins, and the bins are full, now we need to transport them to the trucks! Wow! Four giant bins full of apples! And one red tractor! Okay, the apples are now here at the semi-truck. Now we gotta load up all the bins on top of the back of the semi-truck with a forklift. are loaded on the back of the truck, so let's go! Off to the factory we go. We've arrived at the factory, so now we need to take a forklift and get every single bin off the back of the semi-truck. It is time to clean and package all of the apples! <laughs> Look! Green apples! Now we need to empty the bins of all of the apples so we can clean them and package them! The apples start their floating journey, while the bins get emptied out. Look, the bins are empty! Whoa! That's a lot of floating apples! Then they get taken out of the water, and scrubby dub dub, <laughs> nice and clean! And clean some more! Look at all those bristles! Those apples look like they're having fun. <laughs> and then all the apples get sprayed with some water. Nice and clean. 
and then they go through giant fans. Once the apples are all dry, they get sorted. They get sorted by the ones that look really tasty to eat and ones <laughs> that don't look tasty to eat. And remember the not so tasty looking apples? Yeah, these are them. They get to go up some fun apple escalators and then they get to go down some radical apple conveyor belts on their journey to make some tasty apple pie. But we're not done there yet. Every tasty looking apple gets a sticker. This is the sticker machine. And once every single apple has its very own sticker, they get put on what I like to call apple beds. <laughs> and then the next step is that those apple beds get put inside of cardboard boxes. And some get put inside plastic bags. Oh, looks like some of these boxes need their tops closed. Now that the apples are all clean and packaged up, we gotta store them in a giant refrigerator and wait for the trucks. refrigerator now! It is very cold in here. This is where all of the apples get stored. Wow! Look at how many apples there are! That's a really tall storage building. The semi-truck is backing up to the building, so it can be loaded up with a bunch of fresh apples. The apples are almost ready for you. We're currently loading them into the back of a semi-truck! Alright, Farklefts, just a little bit more apples. Now that the semi-truck is all full of apples, it's gonna deliver them to the grocery stores. Ooh, it was sure fun seeing how apples get to the grocery store with you. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Woo, look at the cherries, they look so yummy. I love cherries, and cherries grow in clusters like these. Let's pull off a cluster and count how many cherries are in the cluster. Whoa! Okay, one cherry, two cherries, and three cherries!
Okay, first thing you need to do is pull the cherries off of the tree. And then you put it in the bucket right here. And when the bucket is really full, like this, then we go to the bin oh, and pour out the cherries. Oh, whoa, there we go. Look at all those cherries. Look at all of these cherries. Now that the bins are full of cherries to the tippy tippy top, now it's time for the tractor to load up the bins. Yum! These cherries look so tasty. And these cherries are the color red. for the truck to take it to the packing facility.
bins are full and in the factory, it's time to dump them in the water so they can get sorted and packed. Watch! are nice and clean so then they can go down the conveyor belt so then they'll be nice and ready for you to eat. Size is a medium cherry, Ooh. and the last size is a big cherry. Some of us 
they're sour too If it's not too cold and not too hot I can grow all over this world we're on I just start out as a tiny seed Put me in the ground till I'm blossoming In three to four years I'll become a tree And in the summertime you get a taste of me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now Cherry, cherry, cherry song Sing along A hot fudge sundae I'm on top I'm the best flavor of a lollipop I'm a warm and gooey and tasty treat When I'm baked in pies for you to eat I go so well in so many things From syrup to juice to the smoothie you drink And I bet you like Coke even better with me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now Cherry Cherry, cherry song, sing along Yo man, cherry out, I gots to go ripen So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout with me And today we're at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Tanaka Farms, yeah, is a farm where you get to pick your very own fruits and vegetables. Yeah! No grocery store today. Today, you and I are at the farm. Here we go! Ho oh, ho ho! Check it out! It looks like there's a tractor and two wagons. Let's go! Here at Tanaka Farms, you can ride the tractor on the Tanaka Farm Tractor Tour. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hey, look. Hey, who Hi. are you? I'm Farmer Kenny. Ooh, Farmer Kenny, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Oh, I do a little bit of everything, drive the tractor around and take you on a tour. Whoa, can we take a tour? Sure, hop on on. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm in a carrot field. All right, step on over. And you see all this green? That's the top of the carrot. Yeah, you don't eat that. The carrot is actually under the ground. That's why they call it a root vegetable. <laughs> okay, in order to pick a carrot, we actually need to find the carrots. So let's pull these back. Whoa, there's a lot right here. Yeah, see all this orange? Yeah, those are carrots. But they're pretty stuck under there. So let's take this giant pitchfork. Whoa, <laughs> looks like a small fork, but way bigger. And then let's loosen up the soil. Wow, and then we need to pick a carrot. Hey, here's one right here. Wow, check it out. We got a carrot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I love carrots, they're the color orange. I love putting them in my salads, my carrot cake, even some soup. Mm, they're so yummy. And they help your eyes be able to see at night. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> hey, and actually there's an animal that really loves to eat carrots. Can you think of what animal that is? Huh, let's go find it. Oh, cute bunny. <laughs> Look, it's a cute bunny. Wow, this bunny's name is Andy. Oh, I wonder if Andy wants a carrot from earlier. Here you go, Andy. Huh, maybe Andy's not hungry. That's okay. Let's put Andy down. There you go. All right. Go, Andy. Whoa, I love bunnies. They are so soft. Hey, this is peanut butter, and the other one, its name is jelly. Oh, here's another one. Oh, 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 look at all those. Oh, hey, here you go. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, do you see this chicken? This is a modern game chicken. Yeah, and they still lay eggs, although they're really small. Yeah, look at them. Hey, you're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, 
let's put peanut butter down so then peanut butter can eat some of the mealworms. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, and come over here. <laughs> I have something to show you. Wow, right over here, we have some eggs. Yeah, chickens lay eggs. Wow, we have one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. These two are big eggs, and these two are small eggs. But these two weren't laid by the modern game chicken. These are still too big for those chickens. <laughs> okay, we'll put these eggs back right here, and let's go check out the chicken some more. <laughs> Chicken sure do love their snack. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Wow! Do you see these? These are carrots. Yeah! They're the color orange. I love the color orange. It's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Whoa, and these are onions. Wow, that is a big onion. <laughs> and look at these. These are also onions, but these are called green onions. Yeah, they're both onions, but they look so different. <laughs> wow, this is romaine. I love romaine, it's so healthy. I like to put it in my salads. Wow, and these are beets. Whoa, these are golden beets, and these are just beets. <laughs> oh, look, check these out. These are cute. These are radishes. Do you see the color? It's kind of like a pinkish red. Yeah, I like that color. Wow, hey. And spinach. These are in a little case, a clear case. Yeah, spinach is green. A lot of these vegetables are the color green, it seems like. Well, see the radishes? Yeah, the part that you eat is the pinkish red color. But up here, this uses photosynthesis to grow the radishes. And this is the color green, but you don't need the top. <laughs> wow, kale. You should try some kale chips sometimes. Yeah, it's like normal chips, but healthier. <laughs> wow, are these drumsticks? <laughs> nope, these are sugar cane. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> wow, Japanese eggplant. Wow, these are the color purple. It's a very dark, purple. Wow, so cool and healthy. Oh, we got some green celery. We got some cauliflower. Mm. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the summer squash. Yeah. Wow. And we also have some green bell peppers. Yeah, right next to the red bell peppers. Check it out. Yeah. Red, green, red, green. <laughs> We'll put those back just right there. And last but not least, we got some corn on the cob. I love corn. <laughs> All right, Blippi, we're here. <gasps> I am so excited. Wow, I wonder what type of food this is. Okay, let's see. All right. We could go down this row right okay, here. Okay, this one, all right. Whoa, what are these? Those are watermelons. Watermelons, wow, it looks like there's two different kinds. Yeah, there's these small round ones, those are uh, yellow watermelon. Okay. And those big oblong ones, those are red seeded watermelon. Wow, can we pick a couple? Yeah, let's find some to pick. Okay. So, uh, how about this yellow one right here, okay. right in the middle? This one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? 
Just go oh. ahead and it comes right <laughs> off. When it's ready, it comes right off. Wow, look at it. So this watermelon is a circle or a sphere. <laughs> okay, all right. all right. Let me go, I'll go grab a red, a okay. red one. Whoa, that's a big watermelon. Wow, what shape is this? Looks like a sphere to me. Yeah, kind of like an oblong sphere <laughs> or an oval. <laughs> All right, now can we put them down right yeah. here? Okay, wow, these are so nice. Okay, all right, so this is a normal watermelon and we know what the color inside is, but we should just cut it open and check, Let's right? See what it looks like. Wow. Yeah, green on the outside and reddish pink, <laughs> red on the inside. Wow, and do you see the seeds? They're black seeds and white seeds. Whoa, okay. But since this watermelon looked a little different, what's so different about it? It just has a yellow inside flesh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's called a yellow watermelon. Can we cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open and see. When they're nice and ready, they pop right open. Yeah. Whoa! I've never seen a watermelon like this before. Look, this is the color yellow. Wow. All right, let's compare them. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Both are tasty. <laughs> wow. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. I love the taste of yellow watermelon. <laughs> mm. Mm. What color is your favorite of watermelon? My favorite is yellow. Mm. Has a little bit different taste, but tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, this tastes really good. Mm -hmm. You wanna try? Strawberry. Mmm. 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 Strawberries are so tasty. Let's go pick some more strawberries. Okay, do you see my container? This is called a clamshell container. Yeah! Do you know what a clam is? Yeah, a clam is a shellfish. And this kind of looks like it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, let's pick 20 strawberries. Whoa, that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, wow, eight, <laughs> nine, ten strawberries. Okay, we're halfway there. Eleven, twelve, minus one, eleven. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, <laughs> 19, last one, 20. 20 strawberries in our clamshell container. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! plants are these? <laughs> I've never seen these before. Wow, look at them, they're so tall. Kind of looks like corn stalks. But I know they're not corn stalks. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> that almost hit me. <laughs> We're stopping. All right, Blippi, we're here on Sugarcane Lane. Sugarcane Lane? Did you hear that? Oh, that's what these must be. Sugar canes. Whoa. Okay. All right, Farmer Kenny. All right. What do we do now? We're gonna cut some sugar cane down. Okay. Wow. Hey, these are sugar canes. Look for a nice stock. Whoa. 
Whoa, that's a sharp knife. <laughs> you just chopped it down. Wow, what's sugar cane used for? You could use it just to suck on. You could use it to press it out, make juice out of it. Ooh. Cook with it. Is that what they make sugar out of? Yeah. Whoa, sugar cane makes sugar. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. So normally you just cut off the skin and chew on the inside. Wow. So you can chew on that right there? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Anytime you use knife, you have to be very careful, right, grown-ups? And only grown-ups can use a knife. Oh, all right. That looks so yummy. Could chew on that little end. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I love sugar cane. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a monstrous plant. And this is actually a flower. This is a giant flower. And this flower is called a sunflower. Wow, can you tell why it's called a sunflower? Yeah because it looks like the sun. Whoa! Wow, and sunflowers produce seeds. Hmm. Hmm. Yummy. Seeds are really healthy. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about fruits, vegetables, and seeds with you at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi. Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi, why don't you go get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse, and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. Here's another one. Ah! <laughs> come on! Oh, and another one! Look! Come here! Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look! Hello! No one's in there! <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! <laughs> Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> oh, do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! Shoot. 
and a head catch. <laughs> this is where the livestock go right over here to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> It's like a wheelbarrow, but it's really flat. This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay. One last place, come in here. Whoa, this is the tack room. Look, whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. <gasps> yeah! This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. <gasps> oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Urgh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tap. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those, put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion for the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this. And then over its ears, like this. And wow. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. That's a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch.
because they have four wheels. One, two, three, four. Whoa, whoa. You're riding the four-wheeler with me. Isn't this fun? Whoa. On the ranch, there's so many great useful machines, like this four-wheeler. And, <laughs> like this. This giant dump truck, woo! And this medium-sized backhoe. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Now that's a big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's, it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank right here. This is full of water. It's about 1100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right, so now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. filming at this giant ranch. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Whippy!